In these problems, we're being asked to use differentials to approximate the value of, well, in this case, a square root, and down here, a value cubed. And the trick here is that we know the square root of 121. That's pretty easy. That's just 11. If we want to estimate the value of the square root of 121.2, we can use differentials. A diff the differential in the x here is 0.2 from our base of 121, and then we can find out what the differential in y would be. Remember when we learned about differentials, we said that the differential of y was the derivative of the function times the differential in x. So in this problem, we're going to say x equals 121. And dx, the differential here, the amount that x is changing, is 0.2, positive 0.2. We're going to need the um, derivative of the function. Well, what's the function here? The function is just the square root of x. So f of x is the square root of x, because that's what we're doing here. We're taking a square root. So the derivative of this function is, well, that's x to the 1 half. So this is 1 half times uh, x to the negative 1 half. We can write that as 1 over 2 times the square root of x. That's the derivative of the square root of x. Now, y, when we start out, y is 11, because that's what you get um, when you take the square root of 121. dy, what's dy? That's what we want to know. Well, dy is the derivative of the function, so 1 over 2 times the square root of x, times dx. And dx, well, that's 0.2. And all I have to do is plug in our x value here. So x is 121. So I get 1 over 2 times the square root of 121. So dy is 1 over 2 times 11 is 22 times 0 0.2. And that is about, let's see, 0, 0, 0091, something like that. So that's our change in y. That's what we're going to add to our y value here. So our new y here, or our value of the square root of 121.2, is 11.0091. Let's try another one. Now this one says use differentials to approximate the value of 9.7 cubed. So instead of taking a square root, we're cubing something. So our function here is going to be just x cubed. And let's take, go ahead and take the derivative of that function because we're going to need it. And that would just be 3x squared. Now, what is our x value and what is our change in x? 9.7, I don't know how to cube that in my head. Um, but 10 cubed is pretty easy. 10 cubed is 1,000. So let's say x equals 10, which means y would equal 1,000. And our change in x here, our dx, is a negative 0.3. So what's our dy? That's the question. Well, dy is the um, derivative of the function, so 3x squared, times the change in x, so times negative 0.3. And we've got to put our x value in here. x is 10. So this is 3 times 100 times negative 0 0.03. And that is going to be negative 90. So to get our final y value, we would take the original y here and add this. In this case, we're actually going to be subtracting 90. So we get y equals 910. And if you plug 9.7 into your calculator and cube it, you'll get something pretty close to 910. So that is a little bit about how to use differentials to approximate square roots and cubes and things like that. My name is Larry. I'm a teacher at Edvisions Off Campus. It's an online project-based school in Minnesota. If you're interested, you can check us out on the web at lovethisschool.org. Thanks.